Hello, this is Gordon Fessick from AntiWindowsCatalog.com and this is a bonus part of Safeguarding Windows 10 Pro. Much like the last bonus part, I'm going to try to replace the default lock screen because you just know folks are going to ask for it. Much like Windows 8, you have a series of images that uh, we can select, but it defaults to a certain one. And it's in the same spot. It's this guy right here, the image 100 here. Now what I did was I took that guy, actually I took uh, a much higher resolution of it, this guy, and I did a little bit of editing to, uh, to personalize that some. I will use that as my replacement default lock screen. Now, just like uh, Windows 8 Pro, you can change the default lock screen in a group policy object when the computer is joined to an Active Directory domain. If it's Windows 10 Enterprise, or what will hopefully soon be a Windows Server edition of Windows 10, you can change the lock screen regardless of whether it's a domain member or not. But much like Windows 8, we need to use um, a back door to get to it, because just like in Windows 8, Windows 10 has the images that you see stored in a little background area here that we can't, we can't normally get to, even as, as the maintenance admin. It's in the same spot. Okay, we can't get there. At least not without messing with permissions. But we're not going to mess with permissions. Rather than try and boot from an installation source, we can actually just boot right to a command prompt. There we go, under recovery. Okay, it wasn't here. There we go, recovery. Okay, troubleshoot, advanced, command prompt. Unlike booting from an installation source, here we are actually prompted for the password of an admin account. So it won't let the user do this unless they know a local admin password. And this is helpful if you do the lockdown settings that we will do in part 3 to prevent starting up from other devices. That system reserved, probably in D. Yep, just like last time. Okay. All right. Let's attach my USB device that has my replacement image on it. Here we go. Here's my replacement image 100. Okay, so it is on G. Okay, so CD program data, Microsoft Windows, CD system data. Yeah, that's the that's the system user there. Remember in the last bonus episode, we saw that Windows generated these things. Even if you were to go replace the image 100 file, it won't remove these things. So we have to remove these temporary uh, JPEG files. Notice the sizes. Uh, I finally settled on 1368 by 768 to record these. But we're going to delete all of the JPEGs from this folder. Okay. And we're going to go back to root, windows, web, CD screen. Okay, we're going to rename the existing image 100. The 
because we're not going to get rid of it. And then copy G. Okay. Now if I exit from here, it'll allow me to reboot and go back to Windows 10 proper. And it should change my default lock screen. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just like it worked in Windows 8. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make this clear. Avoid doing this if you're in a domain environment or you happen to have the Enterprise Edition of Windows 10. Use group policy instead. So save yourself a bunch of trouble. If you're if that doesn't work for either for you, then either Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro will let you do this. See you next time for part three.